What is the meaning of life, Andre? <laughs> we we talked about sort of the universe having a conversation with us humans or with the systems we create to try to answer. For the universe to for the creator of the universe to notice us, we're trying to create systems that are loud enough to answer back. I don't know if that's the meaning of life. That's like meaning of life for some people. The first level answer I would say is anyone can choose their own meaning of life because we are a conscious entity and it's beautiful, mm -hmm. number one. Uh, but uh, I do think that like a deeper meaning of life if someone is interested is uh, or along the lines of like, what the hell is all this? Mm -hmm. And like, why? And if you look at the into fundamental physics and the quantum field theory and the standard model, they're like way like very complicated and... Uh, there's this like, you know, 19 free param parameters of our universe and like, what's going on with all this stuff and why is it here? And can I hack it? Can I work with it? Is there a message for me? Am I supposed to create a message? And so I think there's some fundamental answers there, uh, but I think there's actually even like, you can't actually like really make dent in those without more time. And so to me also, there's a big question around just getting more time, honestly. Yeah. That's kind of like what I think about quite a bit as well. So kind of the ultimate or at least first way to sneak up to the why question is to try to escape uh, the system, the universe. Yeah. And then for that, you sort of uh, backtrack and say, okay, for that, that's gonna be take a very long time. So the why question boils down from an engineering perspective to how do we extend? Yeah, I think that's the question number one, practically speaking, because you can't, um, you're not gonna calculate the answer to the deeper questions in the time you have. And that could be extending your own lifetime or extending just the lifetime of human civilization. Uh, of whoever wants to. Not many people might not want that. Yeah. Uh, but I think people who do want that, I think um, I think it's probably possible. Uh, and I don't, I don't know that people fully realize this. I kind of feel like people think of death as an inevi inevitability. Yeah. But uh, at the end of the day, this is a physical system. Some things go wrong. Uh, it makes sense why things like this happen, evolutionarily speaking. And uh, there's most certainly interventions that uh, that mitigate it. <laughs> That'd be interesting if death is eventually looked at as as um, a fascinating thing that used to happen to humans. I don't think it's unlikely. I think it's I think it's likely. And it, it's uh, up to our imagination to try to predict what the world without death looks like. Yeah, it's hard to. I think the values will completely change. Could be. I don't, I don't really buy all these ideas that, oh, without death, there's no meaning, there's nothing as... I, I don't intuitively buy all those arguments. I think there's plenty of meaning, plenty of things to learn. They're interesting, exciting. I want to know, I want to calculate. Uh, I want to improve the condition of all the humans and organisms that are alive. Yeah, the way we find meaning might change. We, there is a lot of humans, probably including myself, that finds meaning in the finiteness of things. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that's the only source of meaning. Yeah. I do think many people will will go with that, which I think is great. I, I love the idea that people can just choose their own adventure. Mm -hmm. Like you you are born as a conscious free entity by default, I'd like to think. Yeah. And um, you have your unalienable rights for <laughs> life. Uh, in the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit. I, don't, I don't know if <laughs> and, you have uh, that. Uh, in the nature, the landscape of happiness. And you can choose your own adventure mostly. And that's not, <laughs> it's not fully true, but. I still am pretty sure I'm an NPC, but <laughs> um, an NPC can't know it's an NPC. Hmm. There could be different degrees and levels of consciousness. I don't think there's a more beautiful way to end it. <laughs> uh, Andre, you're an incredible person. I'm really honored you would talk with me. Everything you've done for the machine learning world, for the AI world, to just inspire people to educate millions of people. It's been it's been great and I can't wait to see what you do next. It's been an honor, man. Thank you so much for talking today. Awesome. Thank you.